Greetings, everyone. This is Shai with you from WeTrender, and I'm back with another episode for WeTrender Charts. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at the options table. The options table uh, presents a wealth of information to the ever-growing options market. Uh, information which, if you can learn or know how to use properly, can add a huge significant edge to the way you trade. So what you're looking at the, in the screen is the options table, which is uh, from WeTrender and which is different from what you would traditionally see in an options table outside. Allow me a few minutes to explain. So at the top left, okay, you have the Nifty, Bank Nifty, the open high, the change, the time, the advanced decline, etc. standard features. Uh, we've added the open interest put call ratio, uh, the volume PCR, etc. the series VIX, the range, okay, of the day, which is expected in this case, 284 points, uh, the, the kind of range, okay, based on the VIX for the day, uh, for this particular day, it was there. And this is okay for a series, right? So these are, these are estimates okay which we arrive at based on a uh, wix calculation and um, you also have the option of seeing uh, different series and a uh, uh, lot of options okay are added and they would be added in the days to come also now regarding the options table we go from left to the right of the screen and uh, what we have is a, a column on the extreme left which gives you the price the max open interest and time okay three important elements which are part of the market profile way of doing things we always look at price we look at volume and we look at time together right and we're not going to be doing anything okay without these three dimensions in place for us so in the options table the first point okay which we look at in the extreme uh, left the call side in this case okay the strikes are in the middle right here and uh, you would see uh, that uh, let's say okay we're looking at that 17,500 okay we'll have the price and the time where the maximum open interest was generated and right below it we have the price and the time of the day where the 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 open interest was at its lowest so in this case for the 17,500 uh, we've got 167,997 uh, which was the high point of open interest at about 141 in the afternoon and the price was about 88.72. And the low point of that open interest was about 67,214 contracts at about 9.23 in the morning. And 161.77 okay, was the price at the time when this high open interest or this low open interest was hit. right? And uh, subsequently, we have it okay, for the entire options table as well. A very important information because the column right next to it is the DOI, the developing OI, and the current OI, right? So you here you can see immediately the current OI is about 1,16,488, but it's come down, okay, from the high of 1,67,000, right? So even though it is up about 40,000 for the day, it's not at the high point of the day. Now, this will tell you that uh, the existing writers are started to close down and they are not adding more open interest over there ideally okay for a call open interest uh, the open interest at any point of the day should be nearer to the highest in the first five or ten percent uh, close okay to that high oi point of the day which tells you that the call writers are in command at all times not so removed okay from it right this would tell you okay that the other side uh, the buyers or the call writers have started closing positions in this place anyway the third column is the implied volatility iv okay uh, then you have volume and what you can quickly glance through is in this table the columns okay which are in orange or uh, denoted here in the a color orange the font orange would be your highest volume traded strikes of the day so quickly okay a quick glance over here i uh, will show you which are the strikes which are getting the highest volume same thing okay on the puts over here you will see immediately which are uh, which are the strikes which are getting the highest volume right uh, you have price change over here the change and the last traded price, right? And this is the strike columns over here. Same same over here, volume IV DOI, 
and then the max OI time, which is the same column of uh, the the of the calls over here. Here, okay, you would get them in the OI on the right hand side. So we we had another section over here for OI and PE uh, C and PE OI spikes. So they will tell you uh, that uh, the the OI okay over here was about uh, for this seventeen thousand five hundred was about ninety four point two five, and it came down. At about 3 12 pm okay so there was a large concentration over here so what i like to see over here is a, a pe side adding and a ce side reducing so that tells me okay that uh, the structure at that strike has changed a bit right uh, you have options on this uh, option table uh, options on the option table under user setting you can add or change things suppose i do not want the straddle pcr uh, you can use those save settings and go back and it would disappear. Now I don't have that straddle PCR over here. So that can be some changes, okay, which we can do and we can choose the kind of information which is displayed at all times over here, right? So just quickly, okay, if I want to check, okay, what was, uh, what is happening at the 17,500, if I click this, I get the market profile chart open over here, right? So... If I want to understand structure, let me just zoom in, okay, and add, okay, the TPO, and uh, I will quickly, okay, get one chart, okay, which is going to tell me that uh, the structure of the market. So I can see, okay, some big volume, okay, coming here earlier in the series, and uh, this is, okay, what has happened. Uh, value area is going down every single time, so it tells you, okay, that the writers are going out over there. Same way, on the options table, you can do it you can put up a market profile chart of the entire strike. So 17,500 over here, I could get the 17,500 PE and the 17,500 CE. Now this represents at uh, 220, VWAP and the POC together tells you that writers have chosen to write at 17,500 for this particular session. So this profile over here is the merged profile of the entire strike. So it's got PE as CE, and uh, you can get it at the click of a button, right? Uh, there are options available here, okay, for premium members. Uh, so I'd just like to show you if I move, okay, my account, I log out from here, and I move into my premium account. and i go back to my options table now okay i got a little bit more information okay for me to trade out of quickly okay i'll show you my user settings so if i'm choosing options table and uh, the option chain this is all that is available and uh, my default setting for OI and volume data remains contract. So I choose uh, in terms of the numbers, in terms of the contract, which is displayed, you can uh, change that to total value. If you are used to uh, looking at an options table in terms of the number of shares, I prefer personally to look at it in terms of number of contracts. So all this data over here, including the open interest and the volume is now number of contracts. So you can see over here, so under premium, I've got a little bit more in terms of information, PCR, straddle, strike pains, etc. As well as I have an option now to look at everything on a particular date in the past also. So suppose, okay, today is uh, 17,500 is uh, about uh, 1,16,488 contracts and it's about 40,000 added today. Uh, I like to look at it uh, day in the past. Let's see, okay, on the 23rd. So that will tell me that 17,500 was about 70,000 odd contracts and 60,000, okay, was added for that particular day, right? Same way, okay, I can look at something in the past. So these are TPOs based on uh, 950, 930. So if I just wanted to know what was the open interest at the end of uh, B period, 1015, I put this slider over here and I'll know, okay, that uh, 17,500 was about only 19,000 contracts added at 10.15 uh, a.m. At 10.45, it became 24,000 contracts. So here you can see that the writer is adding, right? And by the time, okay, we hit G, 
it was about 25, 34. And they started, okay, reducing, okay, in this period over here. So you've got a time display over here and uh, it will tell you progressively through the day what was the change which was happening, right? Uh, you have some more options over here, which is the wall high and the wall low. Uh, gamma wall high, gamma wall low. So this will give you an approximate idea about what the option market is uh, thinking at in terms of a uh, range. So currently it is at about 17,500, 17,800. You got the range for the day and um, the, the range okay, for the spot for the VIX that is going to be calculated over uh, here. One interesting thing over here is uh, if we look at it in terms of uh, the 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 entire uh, profile the 17500 ce and the p this is the profile down at the bottom over here you have an option of seeing this entire data in a line format right and uh, you will get to see over here in green uh, now this is a proprietary tool which we have developed uh, this blue line over here will show you the open interest additions which are coming in uh, that means, okay, this particular strike, okay, was growing open interest till uh, this time. And this red over here will show you, okay, that there is a decline, okay, which is set in. So this is the trend over here. If you continuously keep seeing these green bars over here, it tells you, okay, that open interest was continuously added. But the minute, okay, it starts going down, that particular strike, okay, started reducing interest. So you can see this over uh, last six days. This is the past three days of data. And you have the VWAP, which is in green, and the point of control, okay, which represents okay the region on that chart where the maximum volume was traded. So you can see this is still in control of writers as long as price stays below the VWAP and the POC. These writers are comfortable and they are doing okay well for themselves. So you that is the seventeen thousand five hundred. You have an option of uh, looking at the line chart of a particular a particular call or a put also. So 17,600 CE over here, uh, this is the open interest build up. And uh, this is just the intraday traders okay, who are coming out. But it shows you that uh, these writers who had started writing positions over here are comfortable. Uh, you can do this for the last five days of the series. I want to look at the, what has happened over the last five days. I can do that as well. Uh, right. So this is okay. The past two days, 23rd, 24th. I can I can uh, see the points or the zone okay where the open interest was added. So I can see the spike zone. So I know okay that there were a number of significant contracts added at this particular price, which is 107 on 17,600 CE, and I can make out that because it's below the BVAP line, they are currently profitable. So this is an option which is now opened okay, to premium and premium plus uh, members. And I would highly encourage you to utilize this information okay, which is coming to you and simplify your understanding of the options market. Right. So this is the entire options table to you uh, as a premium and a premium plus member. You get option, uh, you get access to line charts and uh, this is all the information okay, which would be available to you uh, to take uh, important decisions out of the CE, OI spikes, etc. The IV is the DOI, pay attention to the maximum OI time, min OI time and the current OI in relation to that. Right. So, so just check it out, trade with it, uh, play around with it. This, this particular section has also been updated and there's a little bit more information for you to take actionable decisions out of. So this is the section, okay, the options table right below the market profile charts where this entire information is available to you. Uh, go ahead, trade with it. Okay. Just check it out. Okay. Watch it. Okay. During market hours. And I am positive that it is going to be defining, redefining the way you go out and trade, right? So I wish you the best. I hope you enjoy.